So this is uh, one of them. And look at that. It like lights up. That's cool, that's cool. All right, today I'm coming at you with a new doorbell. Touch wireless digital doorbell. That's the model number there for you. Now this doorbell is uh, not a video doorbell. It's not a photo doorbell. It's literally a completely wireless doorbell. So the part that goes outside has a little watch battery in it. Then you have two chimes that you're able to plug in in your house that you can set on different volumes and with different tones and stuff like that. So basically, if you're looking to add a doorbell to your house that does not have a doorbell at all, or if you have like a second door where you just wanna put a doorbell, but you know, you don't have wiring and you don't wanna deal with charging a battery for a ring doorbell every few months, then you could buy something like this and you'd be able to easily add a doorbell. So as always, we're gonna unbox this and then we'll set it up, we'll test it out and see what it's like. Click that like button for me, of course. Click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Now uh, let's unbox this thing and set it up. Now we're gonna unbox this new touch wireless digital doorbell. Let our life easy. Touch wireless digital doorbell. So it's waterproof, 300 meters to below 20 Celsius and plus 50 Celsius. 36 songs, nothing there. Just uh, kind of their info here on the back, nothing on the bottom. Let's open this up now. All right, so these look like the chimes, so yeah. See that chime just plugs into your outlet. This one comes with two of them, so you could have one upstairs, one downstairs. These would ring in case somebody rang your doorbell. Peel off this plastic. I like the look. Like that would, you know, go into an outlet and just be kind of sleek up against the wall. Wouldn't really notice it's there. Could hide it behind the TV, wherever you want to put it. And the other one. one looks like some resync and volume type of controls on the side. That's also on the side of that one. Speakers right there on the back. And then what else do we have in here? Uh, cardboard. Wow, I love the size. Very, very small, which I see as a good thing. Looks like that's how you can pop off this some kind of way to likely get to a battery or to mount it on the wall. Oh, and it's not like, that's why it's touch. So it's literally, you touch it. It's not a, uh, this isn't an actual physical button. What else we got down in here? Look at that, the tape we need, anchors and screws, and even a little tiny blue screwdriver. How nice is that? That is the coolest little blue screwdriver I've ever seen. And that's how this comes off. There you go. Wow, and it takes a watch battery. I thought this would take like double A's or something, but it doesn't take that, it takes a watch battery. Very, very interesting. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna pull that tab yet, not ready to set it up and get this thing out yet, but. I truly love that little screwdriver. Nest used to do stuff like that. Hopefully their new devices will have that. And then wireless doorbell learning code instructions. All right. Well, as you can see here, this is a uh, touch wireless digital doorbell. No wires needed at all. You'll just put your sticky tape on the back of here and somebody can touch it to ring your doorbell. Now this doesn't have any, this doesn't have any video capability or anything like that. This is physically just a doorbell, but I don't see really anything wrong with that. This gives you the ability to put a doorbell in a spot where maybe you don't have a doorbell or maybe you want a doorbell and um, don't have the wiring for it. I think this is pretty nice. That'll do it for the unboxing. Let's get over and get into the setup here. So to set it up first, we will pop try this back open again. Included super nice screwdriver. Now the uh, instructions say when the doorbell leaves the factory, the transmitter and receivers have completed one to one default learning code matching. The receiver can correspond to eight transmitters at most. If it is necessary to increase the transmitter or the default learning code matching disappears, it can be reset using that button. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take these. As I mentioned, um, it has your sync button, your chime. There's 36 different chimes, and then a like low, medium, high volume setting here. So we're gonna take these. I'm gonna plug in one upstairs and plug in one downstairs, and um, then we'll have our doorbell chimes. So here's one. I'm gonna plug it in to this location here so that it gets power. And then we'll grab our second chime, and uh, we will put it, unplug this lamp, put it 
right there. Now both of the chimes are plugged into power. I am uh, not gonna screw this into the wall. I'm just gonna, for testing purposes, just leave it as it is, honestly. We have a little pull tab here. We're gonna pull this and that should have our, there we go. Zeppi's not gonna like this. <laughs> Bingo. So now this is activated. And as you heard the chime, that's the one that I just put here in the room. So let's uh, play with this a little. So this is uh, one of them. And look at that. It like lights up. That's cool, that's cool. And see this one, this one should do the same. See, look at that. Now uh, you can kind of see it. You can see that lighting up. This even lights up. And that lights up as well. Zippy uh, just thinks. Nobody's here, Zappy. No, nobody's here. It's just me testing a doorbell. Yeah. Where's the ball? Did you get the ball? Oh, he got the ball. Now, of course, you'll want to mount this on your door in some kind of way. There's screws that are included, and if you don't want to use screws, you could just use double-sided tape. Very, very easy to add yourself a doorbell if you don't have one with this system. Now, yeah, there's no video or anything like that, but you can physically have a doorbell. And just to show you, when your doorbell's mounted outside, it actually lights up that little blue color when someone presses it. Volume's at the top, lower, off, highest, a little lower, a little lower, off. And then there's 36 different chimes, which is this button. Now we're gonna see if you can have one on one sound and one on a different sound. I'm pretty certain you can though. So the one that's still downstairs, it's really dark in here. We gotta, we gotta get rid of these ancient lights. If I'm standing here, yeah. See, it's two different sounds. Very nice. That will essentially do it for the touch wireless digital doorbell. And as I mentioned, there's their uh, actual brand name. It'll also be in the title of this video, of course, but you would definitely mount this wherever you want it. And uh, it seems to instantly work with both of the chimes that come in the box without any setup. Literally, I pulled the tab on this so that the battery attached. I plugged both of those into a power outlet and uh, I've got a doorbell. So a great product from what I can see. I didn't come across a single issue with the setup. And I mean, honestly, you shouldn't either. Plug your chimes into the wall, pull that tab, either screw it into the wall at the door or use double-sided tape and boom, you've got a doorbell wherever you didn't have a doorbell or if your cables are broke at your doorbell and you needed to add one. For whatever reason that you want a doorbell, you can easily have a doorbell with this. Of course, I'll leave a link below in the description for this. I give it two thumbs up and it totally gets my approval. So I'll see you all in the next Video. Make sure you click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.